What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys liked my last video about the suspension walk around on my car. For those of you that always ask me when I'm running. And today is another day and got a lot of things to do. But one thing I want to say is right there. I picked up another set of new wheels. I wasn't planning on buying these wheels, but they ended up in my garage. Um, I got for such a good deal. The guy that sold it to me was a subscriber. He really liked my videos and he was following me on Instagram and he, I don't know, I guess he kind of needed money and then he hit me up and he's like, hey dude, I got a set of RPF ones for you. Well, not for me, but I mean, like, I'm selling RPF ones. And then I was like, um, I'm not really interested. You know, I had three sets of RPF ones, but they were all the 50 by seven, so the faces were convex. And I think I have spider webs on me. But yeah. And then these ones are 50 by eights, which I've always wanted. I had a photo of on my Instagram. I test fitted Ronaldo's off the gathers hatch. He had 15 my A's with 225.45 and they look really good on the car. So I couldn't pass up on the opportunity. He was selling them for me to me for really cheap and I ended up buying them. Keep in mind these are brand new in box. Just see, they are literally brand new in box. They're so taped and everything. So it has the fabric or whatever the fuck it's called in there. Yeah, I paid, I don't want to mention it, or I don't want to say it, but I paid a little for them. So thank you for the hookup. Let me pull up your Instagram real quick. Here's a shout out. Uh, there you go. I don't know if it's backwards or not. LJ Izzo. So thank you very, thank you very much for watching my video, subscribing and hooking it up. And I will be putting these to good use, of course. I'll be putting 225 45s on them, Hankook RS3s. I want to keep the Bridgestone route, but I will be on my T's. The T's are going to be the main, uh, my main track wheels. These are pretty much just going to be my daily slash having fun wheels. Because, um, I don't know. It is something about the T's that I can't let go of. But let me show you guys inside the box on one of them that's open. Uh, I think this one is. Not new to me, but there we go. 15 by 8 are pinky RPF ones. If you guys don't know the difference, the 15 by 7s, of course, are sevens and these are eights. 15 by 7, the faces stick out like what you see on most uh, RPF ones on like 15 inch, um, and they're convex. But the new 15 by 8s, which are these, are con uh, concave. So that's why you see the face, it dips in. And it looks a lot nicer than the 15 by 7s. That's what I personally think. And they're, they're still light. I think these are 11 pounds? I have to look it up, I forgot. But they're such a nice wheel, especially if they're the 15 by 8s. The 15 by 7s, I have three sets of them and they were convex and I wasn't really a big fan of. These ones are just like, they look so nice. They're really, really nice, 15 by eights. Um, so thank you, LJ, for these. I will put them in good use. I'll be putting tires on them maybe today if Ronaldo hits me up. For now, I am just waiting in my garage trying to get some breakfast with my friend. I want to keep you guys updated on this. This is Daily Wheels. Most of you guys are probably saying, why did you get empty RPF ones if you already had three sets? It's true. They're such a nice rim, especially like the concave. Oh, yes. I might sell these in the future to be honest with you. Sorry LJ, I don't really uh, keep wheels for that long, but you know, RPF ones, there's always a place in my heart for them. And of course, don't ask me in the comments if my tees are gonna be for sale. My tees are not gonna be for sale. Those are my dream wheels. I will never let them go. And those are my first ever set of tees that I actually bought and in white in OGs. So don't ask me if they're for sale cause they're not gonna be for sale. But yeah, RPF ones. While I'm waiting for a friend to come so we can have breakfast, I did pick up, I guess, little goods for the car. Bam. If you notice, there's one empty box of the carbon shift knob and I have another one. I kind of want to collect all the colors for these. It's just something that I guess have a thing for. This one is, um, bronze? Or no, no, this is, no, no, what, the f what am I saying? It is not bronze. Dude, uh, brown? Dookie brown? Dude, I don't know. And this is the gold one, which is currently in my car. I know it's not necessary, but I just wanted to collect them all and... <laughs> I'm slowly working on that. They have blue ones too, but they didn't have it there. So I'm gonna slowly collect all the carbon shift knobs. They're such a good shift knob. I've tried so many shift knobs in the past and for some reason, I just love the way the carbon shift knob feels. Let's see, how many shift knobs have I tried? I tried the Checker Sports Vibrant Carbon Fiber Shift Knob. I tried the Dimes Performance Shift Knob. I had a bunch. Carbon shift knob for some reason feels the best.
I'm currently editing the video of the, well, what you see now, which is, of course, my new wheels I picked up. So this is me shouting out LJ. The only reason why I recorded this is because I record a bit further into the video and then I end up <laughs> not recording for the rest of the day, so sorry about that. So this is technically a different day now. The first portion of the video was from a different day and now today is a different day and I'm just waiting for Ronaldo to come through right now with the guy that's hatch and I'm hoping that he's bringing his hatch over uh, to my house right now because he got the tees if you guys follow my Instagram he picked up bronze C37s that um, I test fit on the front of my car if you guys haven't seen that part plus the floor right here or something maybe yep uh, he's picking up my rotors that I actually took off of my car the other day that you guys saw which is right here. My old rotors, the EBC ones. The wheels are still there. I haven't got the tires mounted on them, so that's why I didn't film the rest of the day for that one. Ronaldo's coming over right now, so hopefully he surprises me by bringing his car. And I really want to see right now on the TEs, because my friend Ryan, the one with the Avan EF, just posted up a video, oh not a video, a photo of Ronaldo's hatch on the TEs, and it looks amazing. This is praying that he's coming through with the gathers hatch on the T37s. But I am just editing in the meantime. For those of you wondering what I use to edit, it is Final Cut Pro X. And yada 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 yada. Been having this addiction to this coconut drink called uh bye bye by antioxidant cocoa fusion so um if you guys that own this company are watching this video yo hook it up i love this shit i literally just went to walmart just to buy like 10 of them well not 10 of them <laughs> but two of them but probably go back there buy 10 of them one thing that i don't think you guys remember is my splitter i still have the splitter i just have to put it back on my car the reason why i haven't put it back on my car is because i have to make modifications to it the splitter is just chilling right here underneath my brother's civic uh, it's still here um what i have to do is uh, modify the brackets um, nothing's wrong with it. There's no cracks or nothing. The brackets right here, what it is is, when it's on my car and I go in the driveway, when I hit the curb, or I mean not to hit the curb, hit the driveway at a like a weird angle, the brackets will slide. So they'll shift. The brackets will shift around on these two right here that they're supposed to go on. I guess, I don't know, it, it's not secure. Even when I tighten all the way to the max. So what I have to do is modify the brackets by Drilling holes into the bracket right here and here, and put in two other bolts so it pre prevents the um, prevents the splitter from shifting around all the damn time. Cause right now it's, it's shifting around a lot. I will put that back on my car. So that's what happened to my splitter, and of course it will be back. Oh no! Hold on, he's here. What's going on, brother? Hi there. What's going on? My bad. Hey, you know what's funny? So, I was recording a video just now, right? Uh -huh. Just like a new video. And then in the video, I was like, oh wait, hold on. This one is calling me, right? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, wait, hopefully he brings this car here. And then now it's here. <laughs> what a coincidence. Damn, fool. Oh, so the tires came in. Yeah. How can you, oh, but you can't mount them yet, right? Well, I thought it was going to be too late to mount them. What do you mean it's going to be too late? But I think I can. You can? Oh, are you rubbing now? Oh, because it's 225s, right? Yeah. Just a little bit. Only on like big dips, but... It's too crazy. Wow, it actually came out a lot better. Oh, just little things here and there, huh? Well, okay. At least you got the car back. Yeah. That's all I'm happy about. 
Oh, I was too caught up in the moment, what's up? Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. Well, man, I was too caught up. This is like nice seeing this car again. I haven't no, seen no. it in a while, especially on the TEs. Oh, you're actually running the 25s now? Is it 25 or 20? Uh, are these mine? Are these the ones I gave you? No, but I do have those. Those are 20s. The rears look like 20s too. Yeah, I think they're 20s. I'm pretty sure the twins. This is gonna be probably my thumbnail for the video. Do what you gotta do. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I saw I the rear. The I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I mean, you can say it in the video. <sighs> Shit. Yossi did this. Really? Yeah. How come it's? Oh, probably because they didn't prep the bumper, huh? Oh no. Ah oh, man. You know what? Let's get a carbon fiber rear bumper and just call it a day. Dude, you're rubbing in the front. Oh no, that was from, uh, that was from Street to Lula. No, car's too wide. Huh? The tires are too wide. <laughs> no, I think that's what, uh, you know on the skid pad? Yeah. But I like how you um you got the same bridge stone as me. I know. You know? You. What a biter. What a oh, actually the back ones look better than mine. Huh? Your back side ones look better than mine. Got a what is it called? Oh. Vibrate? Yeah. Alright. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just I just recorded a video of you exiting out. Um... Oh. Huh? Why? Because no. this dude Hold on, gotta pop up the cell phones. This guy wanted the video. You ask, you shall receive. <laughs> oh, yeah, that R3s I'm getting are these right here. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll you. Yeah, I'll see you. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh my, dude, you don't know how to angle. Huh? You don't know how to angle. Oh my god. Hey, don't stall uh, later. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, you guys didn't know. I think in my last video, I said that I would be sharing Garage at Autoclub Speed with Ronaldo, which is exactly with that car. So me and him are going to be in a Garage at Autoclub Speedway. So if any of you guys are coming out there, say what's up. We'll have our own garage and then we'll probably have fans on because it might be hot. Get back to editing that video. So I guess that's the end of the video. Just me kicking and stuff. I want to get more into videos like this, kidding with the homies and everything, not focusing all the time on working on my own car. Hope you guys like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll have more content soon getting my car ready for VTech Club. Peace. And stuff right away. Pay money for registration and insurance. So, 16 minutes to the next destination. Yeah!